The Walking Dead TV series is coming to a close this week, and whether or not you've loved the series all the way through, or fell out of love with it somewhere along the way, like I did, there's no denying that this show hasn't been a huge mainstream success. However, did you know there are no zombies within The Walking Dead? That's right. This? It's not a zombie. Hi guys, welcome to Hydro Collectibles where we let our geek flag fly. My name's Luke and I'm your host and today I'm going to explain to you why there are no zombies within The Walking Dead. I'll be honest guys, when it comes to Golden Age comics, I'm no pro. But I do know what I like and it seems I'm not alone. I absolutely love zombies and have done ever since I watched the original George Romero classics back in my youth. But many people today actually don't realise that prior to George Romero's Night of the Living Dead, zombies never actually ate human flesh. In fact, prior to this, we only ever really had the reanimated corpses brought back as a result of magical potions or spells. These particular zombies from back in the day were often depicted as mindless slaves rather than the undead, serving their voodoo masters. But George changed all that and gave us fans something truly special, ghoulish undead fiends who stalked for human flesh. In fact, when you think about it, the Universal Monsters have existed for many years prior to the birth of the zombie, making them a very recent and modern addition to the Monster Squad. Anyway, after talking to several friends of mine, who indeed do know more about this era of comic collecting than I ever could, I have learned of three key elements that make these books desirable. Number one, a damsel in distress. Number two, a skull or ghoulish fiend. And number three, some gore, some shocking and violent imagery. And so, to this day, many within the comic book collecting hobby still find themselves drawn to these particular books whenever they come across them. Okay, but Luke, what about The Walking Dead? What about these zombies? What do you mean there are no zombies? Clearly, you can see them. Don't worry, I'm getting to that right now. Let's fast forward to October 2003, when a small independent comic named The Walking Dead crept onto the market. The Walking Dead was or is, a modern age comic, moving very much in the footsteps of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue number one. And what I mean by that is that this is an incredibly desirable book with a low print run that came about within the modern era of comics. There aren't many of these about. I personally originally picked up the Walking Dead comics as reference material back when I was working in the special effects industry and after just a couple of issues I was instantly hooked. Robert Kirkman, the writer and co-creator of the Walking Dead comic book series, was a huge fan of Romero's work and was actually intended to name his comic book series after the original movie, Night of the Living Dead. After all, it was fair game to do so, what with it being in public domain and all, but upon reflection he decided to change it. One of the main reasons for this change was that he didn't want his story to be confined to just one night. Kirkman wanted a story that would continue moving forward and never end the way that most zombie based movies do. The publishers at this time were extremely sceptical about this idea and wanted a more definitive plot and story end. So Kirkman lied. He gave them a plot revolving around The Walking Dead, informing the investors that aliens would be involved by the end of the first arc. But by the time this all rolled around, the series had found its footing, found its fan base, and so no one really seemed to care. They decided to keep this series in black and white when printing for two main reasons. Number one, it was cheaper. And number two, you could get away with a lot more gore. Now granted, there probably is a third reason, probably that the original Night of the Living Dead was actually shot in black and white by George Romero. However, for the most part, I think it was those main two. Now granted, within the early days of the comic, there were in fact a handful of references to these beings being called zombies. But this was soon squashed, with the creators instead choosing to use other words for their undead ghouls, such as walkers, roamers and biters. The TV series lent into this more so than the comic books and never once actually used the word zombie, and the reason for this is a simple one. The characters within the world of Walking Dead have no reference to zombies or zombie pop culture. There are no movies, no shows and no books, nothing at all depicting the zombies as we know them in our world. This whole experience that these characters are witnessing of the undead rising up and stalking the living is a completely new concept to their world. But as always, there is another real world reason why they don't use the word zombie. Now I'll be honest with you guys, I don't understand the full legality here, but Marvel actually owned the rights to the word zombie between the years of 1975 and 1996, and had it registered and trademarked for a book titled Tales of the Zombie, meaning that this was a somewhat shady area when it came to its use. 
So there you have it guys, that is why there are no zombies within The Walking Dead. We have an incontinuity reason and we have a real life reason. Now granted, I don't fully understand the legality of that real world reason. I don't understand how Marvel can own the rights for a set number of years but then someone not be able to use it thereafter. Maybe you guys do, maybe you could let me know down in the comment section below. It is worth noting that Robert Kirkman actually went on to do more zombie based comic books with Marvel titled Marvel Zombies but we'll get into that in a future video. If you enjoyed this video, if you felt like you learned something, please hit that like button. Let that YouTube algorithm know that we are here. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd like to encourage you to do so. And if you like this sort of content, I'd encourage you to check out this video right up here. And until next time, I'll see you in another life. Take care.